Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the packet tracer activity navigating the iOS. We will go through the objectives. Uh, part 1, we will establish a basic connections, access the CLI and explore help. Then in part 2, we will do explore uh, exit modes and in part 3, we will set the clock. Here is the background. In this activity, we will practice skills necessary for uh, navigating the Cisco IOS such as different user access modes, various configuration modes and common commands used on a regular basis. We will also practice accessing the context sensitive help by configuring the clock command. We will come to uh, part 2 1. Establish basic connections, access the CLI and explore help. In part 2 1 of this activity we will connect a PC to a switch using a console connection and explore various uh, command modes and help features. All right. So step 1 connect to PC 1 to S1 using a console cable. Click the connections icon the one that looks like a lightning bolt in the lower left corner of the packet tracer window then select the light blue console cable by clicking it the mouse pointer will change to what appears to be a connector with a cable dangling from it then click pc1 a window displays an option for an rs232 connection drag the other end of the console connection to the s1 switch and click the switch to access the connection list now select the console port to complete the connection right we will do this now coming to the topology here we can see the switch and pc1 and here is our lightning bolt what they mentioned <laughs> this is nothing but the connections we are going to click on that now uh, we will search for the console here we have console now we will come to PC we have the port RS232 we have to click on this uh, RS232 now drag to S1 and we will connect to yes uh, I mean console yes search for the console yes here we have now we will come to step 2 establish a terminal session with S1 click PC1 and then select the desktop tab click the terminal application icon Verify that the port configuration default settings are correct. What is the settings for a bit per seconds? Okay, we will uh, check that. Then click OK. The screen that appears may have several messages displayed. Somewhere on the screen, there should be a press return to get started message. Then we have to press enter. So what is the prompt displayed on the screen? Right, we will verify all these. Coming to the PC, we will go to desktop tab here and uh, we have uh, uh, something called a terminal. Yes, here it is. And here we can see uh, they asked one question what is uh, the bits per second here? We can see it is 9600. And uh, here we are going to press enter. I mean, okay. Yes, press return to get started. So here we can see the prompt to what we are getting. This is a yes one greater than. Now we will go to uh, step three. Explore the iOS help. The iOS can provide help for commands depending on the level accessed. The prompt currently displayed is called user exec. Yes, uh, that is nothing but the yes uh, one greater than. And the device is waiting for a command. The most basic form of help is to type a question mark at the prompt to display a list of commands. Okay, here we can see that uh, we can give a question mark and uh, we can uh, uh, get the iOS help. Uh, which command begins with the letter C? So at the prompt type T and then a question mark. So if you give T, we can see the commands which start with the T or if you give C, we can see the commands which starts with C, right. So at the prompt, type TE and then question mark. Okay, we will verify all these things. Uh, which commands are displayed? This type of help is known as context sensitive help. 
yes so it provides more information as the commands are expanded yes we will uh, see this so we will come to uh, pc uh, uh, terminal and we will verify this yes here we are here we are going to put the question mark and uh, we can see all the uh, commands what we are going to use in this uh, user exec mode now we can see uh, which command begins with the letter c so there we can see any command yes here we can see that connect open a terminal connection okay now we are going to give a t t and question mark we can see uh, the commands which starts with the t is a telnet terminal and trace route we got a total of three commands next i am going to give here t e so what are the commands uh, starting with the letters t and e then we are going to put question mark we can see that that is a telnet and a terminal yes we are getting the help from the ios yes so this is nothing but the context sensitive help now we will come to part two explore exit modes in part two of this activity we will switch to privileged exit mode and issue additional commands enter privileged exit mode at the prompt type the question mark and we can see all the commands uh, in this uh, uh, this uh, privileged exit mode and what information is displayed that describes the enable command yes we will check that type en and press the tab key yes keep in mind we are going to give en and we are going to press tab so that the incomplete command en is going to uh, complete the command is going to complete yes we will uh, verify that after some time uh, what displays after pressing the tab key we will check it uh, this is called the command completion or tab completion when part of a command is typed the tab key can be used to complete the partial command yes so if the characters typed are enough to make the command unique as in the case of the enable command the remaining portion of the command is displayed so what would happen if you typed te then tab at the prompt okay we will see that enter the enable command and press enter how does the prompt change we will verify all this now we are coming to the switch yes right here we are going to put question mark and uh, here is something we can see called the enable yes so turn on privileged commands yes that's why we are using enable now here we are going to give e and n and we are going to press enter yes here we can see the command is completed now we given only e n and once we give the tab this incomplete command is completed right now i am going to try te instead of this i am going to try te so what happens with that tab no it's not coming anything because here we can see starting with the te we have telnet and terminal so obviously it will be an ambiguous command so if you specify tel then we will get telnet so we can see with the te we have two commands that is telnet and terminal now we are going to give a uh, enable command and here we can see the how uh, the prompt comes see that it is changed uh, from this uh, symbol greater than symbol to her symbol well so this mode is called privileged exit mode now here we can see when prompted uh, type the question mark so after this uh, here we are going to give the question mark one command start with the letter c in user exit mode how many commands are displayed now that privileged exit mode is active hint you could type c then question mark to list just the commands beginning with c right we will do that now now simply i am going to put here question mark and here we can see a lot of commands uh, which we will be using in this uh, mode yes now we are going to find the commands which starts with the letter c 
we are going to count that so here we can give c question mark here we can see one two three four five commands that is clear clock configure connect and copy now we will come to uh, step two enter global configuration mode when in privileged exit mode one of the commands starting with the letter c is configured type either the full command or enough of the command to make it unique press the tab key to issue the command and press enter yes here is that so what is the message that is displayed press enter to accept the default parameter that is enclosed in brackets that is terminal and how does the prompt changes we will see that this is called global configuration mode yes so it becomes uh, like this here we can see that the prompt will be like this this mode will be explored further in upcoming activities and in labs exactly for now return to privileged exit mode by typing end exit or control z oh we can give all this either ex uh, end exit or control z right so here we can see that we will do it on packet tracer now yes here we can see a command which is uh, starting with the configure right here i am going to give c o n this is not enough because starting with the c o n we can see uh, two commands that is configure and connect so you have to give c o n f and tab now we are going to press enter yes here we can see configure configuring from a terminal memory or network so it's from terminal so by default we have to give that's press enter so it will be terminal yes here we can see now we are in global configuration mode see how it changes so it changed from s1 hash to s1 config hash yes now we can uh, exit uh, using either end exit or control insert here i am going to give exit yes now we are in privileged exit mode now we will go to part three set the clock use the clock command use the clock command to further explore help and command syntax type show clock at the privileged exit prompt so we have to give show clock and so here we get a question what information is displayed what is the year that is displayed right we have to verify that here we are going to give a show clock here we can see the details it shows 1993 next is so use the context sensitive help and the clock command to set the time on the switch to the current time enter the command clock and press enter so we have to give a clock and then we have to press enter what information is displayed yes we have to see that here i am going to type clock and press enter here we can see we are getting incomplete command right so the incomplete command message is returned by the ios this indicates that the clock command needs more parameters any time more information is needed help can be provided by typing a space after the command and the question mark yes we have to give a clock space then what is the next commands we can use along with clock so what information is displayed yes we will see that here we are going to give a clock then question mark here we can see the command set so set the time and date next is set the clock using the clock set command proceed through the command one step at a time so again we are going to give a clock set then question mark so what information is being requested okay we will verify that now here we are going to give a clock then set then we are going to put the question mark here we can see h h colon m m colon s s so this is the current time next is what would have been displayed if only the clock set command had been entered and no request for help was made by using the question mark okay right we will see that here we are going to uh, press enter and here we can see we are getting the message incomplete command 
Next is uh, based on the information requested by issuing the clock set question mark command enter a time of 3 p.m. by using the 24 hour format of 15 colon 00 zero colon 00. zero. Check to see if more parameters are needed. Right. So we are going to give this. So the output returns a request for more information. Right. We are going to give the question mark and we are going to check. So they are going to ask day of the month, then month, month of the year. Right. So we will uh, verify that. Right. We will come here. Okay. Here we are going to give clock set then uh, we have to give the time so that is a 15 colon 00 colon 00 space question mark here we can see that right we will go to f attempt to set the date to 01 31 2035 using the format requested it may be necessary to request additional help using the context sensitive help to complete the process when finished issue the show clock command to display the clock setting yes so the resulting command output should display us here we can we can see that it should display like this when we give this uh, show clock command if you were not successful try the following command to obtain the output above right we will uh, complete this now now we are going to uh, set the date uh, as mentioned so here i am going to put question mark here we can see first we have to set the day of the month so they mentioned 31 right then space question mark now we have to specify the month of the year so that is they mentioned 01 here we can give jan and to the year we have to specify that is 2035 now i'm going to press enter yes and we will verify uh, this clock now using show show clock right yes here we can see that now we are going to step 2 explore additional command messages the ios provides various outputs for incorrect or incomplete commands continue to use the clock command to explore additional messages that may be encountered as you learn to use the ios issue the following command and record the messages right first we are going to give cl Yes, here we are going to give CL and press enter. Here we can see it says ambiguous command CL. Yes, because we can see uh, starting with the CL, we have two commands clear and clock. Next is uh, we are going to give a clock and then we are going to press enter. Right here we are going to give clock. Now here we can see we are getting incomplete command. Yes and now we are going to give clock set okay that we are going to specify here okay clock set and here we are going to give 25 colon 00 colon 00 and now we are going to press enter here we can see invalid input detected at uh, this marker so here we can see that yes here we can see the problem it shows uh, invalid input detected yes because we given here wrongly so when we give a 24 hour format to it goes till 23 uh, 59 59 maximum so here we given 25 so it shows invalid input and finally we are going to clock set 15 colon 00 colon 00 32 yes so what information was returned obviously we know that day will be uh, till 31 so we have to get the same error message what we got here 32 yes oops we given 25 again so we are going to change that 25 here 25 I'm going to put as 15 right or even 23 yes here we are getting the message now 32 invalid input we can give till 31 yes here we can see we completed our uh, packet tracer activity uh, that is uh, navigating the iOS here we can see the uh, completion status uh, 20 out of 20 
friends if you have any doubt please comment below also don't forget to subscribe the channel to get future videos bye